Well, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet too. you. My name is Frédéric Boyer. I'm the artistic director of the festival. And, and I'm and in another place in Les Arts. This is uh, Guillaume Callo, one of the two directors and founders of Les Arts. Well, nice and to we meet you. And we decided to do the Q&A together because we are in love with your film. Oh, and of course, you. we are missing your film a lot uh, because it's, uh, you know, in each festival, we always need to have uh, something fresh with vitality and I think your film is uh, very interesting because uh, I think most of the people are love the series and I love series too and love the storytelling and I love storytelling of course but your film is mm. much more impress impressionistic like a, a painting and then uh, cinema it's a perfect format to be in a room to see this film like an immersion with all these uh, characters. And I think it was, uh, yes, we really appreciate the film a lot. Oh, thank you very much. And thank you for, for having us at Les yeah. Arts. It's a, it's a pleasure. I think there's a, a new generation of uh, Spanish filmmakers, men or women, it's not important, but mm -hmm. we are there trying to make a, a cinema much more fresh or different. I will not say a new way, but do you agree with that? Uh, well, yes, yes. I think there is uh, also, I mean, I'm not from Catalonia, yeah. but uh, I live here in Barcelona. And it's true that uh, Catalan, I mean, there, there is uh, many Catalan productions lately and mostly directed by women. I mean, I know it's not, for me, it's also not important, but it's a coincidence. I think also has to do with the politics that, uh, that we had like 10 years ago um, uh, and yes totally and also I mean I, I haven't seen the film of Isabel but I I know Jonas and yeah, yeah it's uh, I think we are like a group no creating yes. and we know each other so yeah yeah so I, I have a question uh, your yeah. film is taking place in the 90s and I wanted to, to know why you chose uh, this period of time. Is this because it's a time for Spain, for Spain to go from traditional country to modernity, the end of the Frankism? And can you, can mm -hmm. you tell us a little more why this choice? Yes, the choice is, well, I am, the film has a, a, a part that it's very autobiographical. Uh, and for example, I am the same age of Telia. Uh, Tele is supposed to, uh, supposed to be born in 1980, like myself, and I was also 12 in the year 92. And uh, when I was uh, already a grown up and, and I was thinking about my childhood and the education I received, or more, I mean, the society uh, in, back in the times that I was becoming a teenager, I realized that uh, Spain was supposed to be a very, a liberated country, modern in the year 92, because also it was a very paradigmatic year um, uh, because of the Olympic Games of Barcelona, ex the Expo of Sevilla, and it was like a feeling in society of uh, euphoria. And, uh, and then I realized that if I started to look inside myself and to remember my education and to remember those years, I don't think it was a match between how we thought society was and how it really was, no? And um, for example, I thought about it when I, when I found one of my notebooks uh, or from school and I read this uh, essay about uh, love and sexuality devoted to, to God. And it was shocking for me that we were receiving these messages in the year 92, because it was supposed to be after, um, after transition, after uh, La Movida Madrileña, you no, know, like uh, very punky things going on, but a big part of the, of the society was still very too much close to, to the years before transition. What is what really impressive in your film is also the, the quality of uh, the photography. And I, I read you, you were working like an assistant camera for many shooting. And uh, of course, we're gonna ask uh, me and Guillaume a question about the format, which is 430, which is, uh, I think, very, very unique. And I want to ask you, did you wrote the scene? Did you write the scene and then decide how to shoot it? Or did you have uh, some vision to 
shoot a scene and then write it after? Hmm. I think it depends on the scene. Uh, one thing that I was uh, very, very sure, and I, I really wanted to to commit with the, with this idea, is that I wanted, <clears throat> sorry, I wanted the girls to be very free, and I didn't want to limit them with the camera, with the, uh, with lighting, and and so I asked all the crew to to be able to have uh, as much freedom as possible in the set. Sometimes it was not possible, of course, but it was one of the one one of the of the main ideas of the shooting. And then there were some scenes that I thought the camera had to be uh, totally free; that it had to be a, a camera for Celia and for the girls. Uh, but there are some other scenes that I I thought. Um, I mean, I love camera work. Uh, it's something I'm, I, I really I really enjoy how to use the the movements and and how to think exactly the shot is like choosing the words no in a in an essay or in a in, in a short or in a, in a letter and there are some scenes that I while I was writing them I was already uh, thinking how they would look like for example when Celia runs away I was sure it had to be um everything in one shot in one shot uh or the movement uh, whenever she's in with the mother in the village uh so i think it was a mix it was a yeah. mix of, of both thank you hmm. uh yeah i i have a, i had a question about your wonderful actresses uh, well actresses of course but also uh, the main actress can you tell us how you you chose them how you cast them because uh they are really depicting something that is exactly uh i mean we have this feeling of the 90s and they they give a lot they are just wonderful so mm -hmm. i and at this age it's difficult to be a, a professional actress although it happens so can you tell us a little more about uh this casting yeah, yeah i have to say I'm, I'm very much in love with them um because I, I love the way they, they perform in the film and also because they made the shooting um, amazing and I really had a lot of fun thanks to, to, to the group, but mostly to, to them. And the casting process was very long. It, um, I talked with the producers uh, when we got the, the, the money to shoot the film and I was 100% sure that this film was about uh, them, that without the right casting, the film would never work because uh, well, uh, it's, that's, it, it's not about, I mean, I think it, it is always like this, but more in this type of film where it's more about, yeah, feelings and emotions and that you don't have like these big turning points, that it's more, more about the authenticity and the feelings that the, the actresses can, can give you. So we spent like seven months um, in Zaragoza, my hometown, where the story takes place with the casting director and we saw more than 1000 girls and and it was very it was very intense and very funny uh, and what we did it was uh, for example in the case of Celia Andrea Fandos I saw her in another film I mean in a short film because she she acted first in a short film uh, La Comulgante uh, uh, by Ignacio La Sierra and I really like her but the problem is that she was too young to play Celia because in the first drafts Celia was 13, 14 so I saw her again three months later and she grew up quite a lot in these months but still she was too young but I was so much in love of her eyes and the way she was she was and I thought she was Celia. I thought she was the only one that that would that could play Celia. So we made Celia younger in the script, and we had to modify it a little bit the script also on some scenes. And the same with the rest of the girls. For example, Chris, uh, her best friend Julia, um, she's very much uh, Julia is very much like I was imagining Chris. No, like very, very genuine, very funny, and also with Brisa, Zoe Arnau. So we try to, to match the personalities and then they become very good friends. And uh, it was very, they didn't read the script also. So we were working with them through improvisation and through games with the coach also, Ruben Martinez. 
So it was a, they were very generous with, uh, with us because they were really into the film and to give us everything. I really like also the, the fact you choose these ages for the girl because they are between children and, and teenagers. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the reason why we feel immersed with them. It's a little bit like the cartoon Tom and Jerry. You see the, the legs of the old lady and you see Tom and Jerry. It's like you are filming them another, uh, like another world because they are not still teenagers. But the question mm -hmm. I have to ask you, of course, you shot the film two years ago and they were very young, two years maybe, I don't know when you shot the film, but mm -hmm. few, maybe a long time ago, and now it's, uh, the film is, is ready. Are you still in contact with them? Uh, uh, the girls saw the film. Uh, are, you are you thinking for uh, uh, maybe using one of the two girls or, uh, in uh, one of your future films? Mm. Yes, I saw them. Um, we went to Berlin uh, to the, the the world premiere, and uh, it was great. I mean, they were. Yeah. They, I think they were not. Um, they were not aware of the of the filming or 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 the festivals or anything like this. So they were very shocked and surprised. And also, we had the premiere in Spain in September. So so we were all together. And uh, well, the thing is that uh, because of the uh, of the pandemic, uh, we couldn't see each other as much as we 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 would yeah. like to. Um, and I think also it's been more quiet for them, which I think it's good because they are going. I mean, going to school, no, and, uh, yeah. and it's not so because for some days it was very crazy. Also, the screening in Malaga Film Festival with the photographers and everything, and I, I mean, I, I really trust in their talent, and I'm sure they will be able to do everything they what they want. What I don't know if they, if they, for example, Andrea, she likes to act and she would like to be an actress, but she's not sure yet. Maybe she wants to become yeah. a teacher. Uh, uh, so I think they are, and this is also something I really like about them. No, like they don't have like um, uh, like I um. Uh, I mean, they know they are very young, so they will see what happens and they are studying. Uh, Julia wants to become a doctor, for example, yeah. um, but they enjoy, uh, they enjoy acting and I have to say they are talented. So if they want to become actresses, I'm sure they will. <laughs> and I don't know, I mean, our, our next project with uh, also, I'm going to shoot with, with Inicia Films and with uh, B-Team. Um, it's also about teenagers. Uh, but a little bit older, but uh, it happens in Barcelona nowadays. So hopefully I can work with some of them again. Exactly. And we <laughs> can't wait to welcome you for, because you know, we have also some industry days. So maybe we're going to welcome you for with the project or images, you know. That's perfect. So yeah. have to stay <laughs> Thank you uh, very much, Pilar. It was very nice to have this chat with you. And, yes, uh, Pilar, I just wanted to say hello. It's a between Q&A conversation, the film. Um, let's see what's happened. I hope the, and I'm sure the French audience is going to love it. And we, you are part of the, the family and we, uh, we can't wait to see you, uh, to, to see how you ski next year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I also, I mean, I, I am a horrible uh, sky, uh, doing ski, yeah. but I mean, I'm totally into it for next Are year. Are you good at eating fondue? <laughs> Huh? Are you good at eating fondue? <laughs> What's fondue, that? The Pauline? cheese, the cheese, you know, the melted cheese. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh well, that, then that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do that very well. <laughs> you are validated. <laughs> no, but hopefully, hopefully yeah. I, I can be there you know, in the snow one day with uh, yeah. watching films. I don't. I, I cannot think for a better, uh, a better plan. Okay. We wish that too. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Goodbye. Bye. 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 B